In this video, you will learn about Geothermal energy Structure of the Earth's interior Geothermal fields and resources Geothermal power plant Main components of a geothermal power plant Construction of geothermal power plant Working of geothermal power plants Types of geothermal power plants Advantages and disadvantages of geothermal plant Geothermal energy Geothermal energy refers to the production of energy using the internal heat of the Earth's crust. The heat comes from the core of the Earth that is liquid rock known as magma and the radioactive decay of unstable elements such as thorium-232 and uranium-235. Hot water springs and geysers are the examples of geothermal. It happens due to geothermal energy. Radius of Earth is approximately 6,370 km and it can be divided into following three zones. Crust which is 7 km under ocean and 20 to 65 km under the continent. Mantle which is 2,900 km and it lies under the crust. Core which is the center of Earth and have a temperature of 4000 degrees centigrade and 3.6 million bars of pressure. Interior structure of the Earth The crust and upper mantle forms the lithosphere. The lower mantle forms the asthenosphere that extends 2,900 km below the Earth's surface. The inner core is a hot, dense ball of iron. It has a radius of about 1,220 km. Temperature in the inner core is about 5,200 degrees Celsius which is 9,392 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure is nearly 3.6 million atmosphere. The outer core is about 2,200 km thick and is mostly composed of liquid iron and nickel. The nickel-iron alloy of the outer core is very hot and is between 4,500 degree and 5,500 degree Celsius. The plate tectonics in the Earth's interior is due to the movement of lithosphere over the asthenosphere. Asthenosphere or lower mantle is ductile and hotter. After the mantle there comes the core of the Earth. Liquid core or magma. Solid core or nickel iron alloy. Volcanoes are formed due to the thermal gradient from the liquid core to the mantle and earth crust. Heat flows from higher concentration to the lower concentration. Geothermal fields or resources Geothermal resources are linked with tectonic activities as it allows the ground water to be heated with the underground heat. Geothermal fields require a combination of three geological conditions. A natural underground source of water. An impermeable layer that traps water and allows formation of steam. A large mass of hot rock in the vicinity of water system. Geothermal resources Geothermal resources are of five types. Hydrothermal resource which is inside and above the earth and have a hot water below 100 C and have a wet steam which have pressurized water at 370 C. Vapor dominated resource it has a dry saturated steam at 350 C and it is given directly to the turbine.
Hot Dry Rock Resource Hot rocks at 650 degree by conductive heat flow from magma but no water in it so, water is injected in it and an artificial reservoir is made. Geopressured Resource Geothermal reservoir trapped under high pressure of 1000 bar by impermeable rocks. Magma resource, this is a molten rock at temperatures from 700 to 1600 C. This viscous liquid may form reservoirs at some depth from the surface. Geothermal power plant Main components of a geothermal power plant Production well Separator Heat exchanger Steam turbine Condenser Generator Injection well Production well Depth of production well is from 3 km to 10 km. Wells may be located as far as 10 km to 14 km from power plant. Separator Separator are used for the purpose to remove gases like hydrogen sulfide. Two-phase and three-phase separators are used according to requirement. Separators are vertically and horizontally designed. Heat exchanger Specially designed steam turbine are used for geothermal power plants. Steam can be corrosive due to many non-condensable gases for example hydrogen sulfide. To protect rotor blades and nozzles from corrosion special coatings and materials are used. Condenser Steam condensed by a vacuum at the turbine exit. Most plants use direct contact condensers that uses water itself as the cooling media. Injection well The excess condensate and the brine from the separator returns back to the underground thermal reservoir. Reinjection wells are located in appropriate places. Some reservoirs can give outputs for years without reinjection. In the geothermal power plant, heat from the subsoil moves to the production well for steam water extraction to the heat exchanger, then this steam water moves to the turbine. Some of the steam water moves from heat exchanger and turbine to the condenser for cooling purpose. This steam water then moves to cooling tower. The steam water in the turbine with the help of alternator, generates electricity. As I have explained in the picture, you can see the similar process in this video, the role of production well and injection well is also prominent in this video. The steam water that exit from the injection well is reutilized. Now we shall discuss the construction and working of geothermal power plant. Step 1 for construction of geothermal plant is that large holes have to be dug into the earth until a geothermal hot spot is found. Pipes are inserted inside in these holes through which water is sent and steam output is obtained. The production involves two process. Number 1 converting geothermal energy into mechanical energy. Number 2 Converting mechanical energy into electrical energy The success of the energy production depends on the temperature of the plant which depends on the temperature of the rocks inside the earth. The water is sent through the injection well and reaches the rocks and then hot water comes from the production well.
Due to the high pressure when it reaches the top most of the earth's surface it is converted into steam. The separator is the place where steam that comes from the earth is made clean by removing the brine and dirt so that they do not damage the turbine blades. The high pressure and low pressure steam runs the turbine. The generator is coupled with turbine to produce electricity. The condenser is a phase changer where the steam output of the turbine is given to the condenser and gets converted to hot water. This hot water is then sent to the cooling tower where it loses its heat and then sent to the geothermal reservoir for further production of steam. Now we shall discuss types of geothermal power plants. There are three different types of geothermal power plant system designs. Dry steam power plants. Flash slash steam plants. Binary cycle power plant. Dry steam power plants. A power plant where steam is released from the pressure of a deep reservoir, through a rock catcher, and then past the power generator turbines. Dry steam is extracted from natural reservoir. With a temperature 180 to 225 degrees Celsius. Steam is used to drive a turbo generator. Steam is condensed and pumped back into the ground. Dry steam plant can achieve 1 kilowatt hour per 6.5 kilograms of steam. A 55 megawatt plant requires 100 kilograms of steam. In the figure, you can see. Hot dry steam from underground is piped to turbine with the help of production well. This dry steam is then used to power the generator. Flash or steam power plant It is the power plant where water is pumped under great pressure to the surface. When it surfaces, the pressure is reduced and as a result some of the water changes to steam. This creates a blast of steam. The water is then returned to the earth via injection well to be heated up by geothermal rocks again. Steam with water is extracted from ground. Pressure of mixture drops at surface and more water flashes to the steam. Steam separated from water and drives a turbine. Turbine drives an electric generator. Generator generates between 5 and 100 megawatt. This plant uses 6 to 9 tons of steam per hour. In the flash steam plant, Steam water is introduced via production well to the vessel. Vessel then distribute the steam to turbine and some of the steam moves to waste brine and this steam in the waste brine moves to the injection well. While the steam in the turbine generate electricity. Binary Cycle Power Plant a power plant where warm geothermal water is pumped to the surface and passed through a heat exchanger that contains a special fluid that boils the water. The heat from the water makes this secondary fluid flash into vapor. The newly created vapor spins the turbines, while the cooled steam is injected back into the earth. It has low temperature of nearly 100 degree and 150 degree Celsius. It uses heat to vaporize organic liquid. It uses vapor to drive turbine and causes vapor to condense and recycle continuously. Typically 7 to 12 percent efficient and produces 0.1 to 40 megawatt units of electricity.
In the binary cycle steam plant, water is pumped to the surface via production well and passes through a heat exchanger that contains a special fluid that boils the water. The heat from the water makes this secondary fluid flash into vapor. The newly created vapor spins the turbines, while the cooled steam is injected back into the earth. Advantages and Disadvantages of Geothermal Energy Unlike conventional thermal power generation, geothermal is pollution-free electricity generation. Economical as low space and less equipment are required. Geothermal is renewable so running cost is low. Geothermal plants can be used both as baseline and peaking power. No chance of contamination from solid discharge. Geothermal fluids contains less harmful greenhouse gases. No nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide so less acid rain. Stability of land mean no OR less earthquakes and no damage to the earth due to greenhouse gases. Also, performance of geothermal plant is location specific and couldn't produce 100% result on every location. Thanks for watching, kindly like and share this video. Also, Subscribe to our channel for more videos.